hi there welcome back to another youtube video thank you for joining me today if you're new here my name is may and i run a small planner brand that specializes in planner refills and accessories i am so excited to be filming this video for you today because we are finally launching the 2024 collection so i put so much of my heart and soul into designing and making these inserts for you that they are definitely a labor of love We've spent the past couple of weeks um, designing, printing, cutting, packaging, punching, all that kind of jazz. And I am beyond excited to finally reveal the entire collection for you. So in terms of launch details, this collection is going to be launching on Friday the 18th at 10 a.m. Australian Central Standard Time or Adelaide Times. So we also have a launch day freebie, so stay tuned to the end of the video for more information on that. Keep in mind as well, uh, we don't normally include our latest dated collection as a part of our Black Friday sales. So if you're interested in getting these inserts it's best to order on launch day so you can also get your free launch day gift with purchase i'm going to try to keep this video as brief as possible since we have a lot to cover today so let's get started so i have my a5 licorice agenda here and my fc compact here i'm going to be showcasing uh, all of the inserts in the a5 size except for one which is going to be shown in the fc compact size um, I will explain later why that is the case but um, since A5 is the most popular planner size that we offer it's just going to be a lot easier just to show it in one size um, it'll make the video shorter as well um, etc so in today's video I'm going to be doing a brief rundown of all of the different updates I've made compared to the 2023 versions and um, before we get started, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions, but these are going to also be available as a printable option as well for those of you who like that instant gratification or want to save on shipping fees and um, don't want to wait for shipping, etc. So I'm going to be breaking down the video into three different parts. So part one is going to be all of the monthly inserts. Part two is going to be all of the weekly inserts. And lastly, part three is just going to be all of the other inserts and accessories. Basically, all of our um, 2024 miscellaneous items. Okay, so let's get started with the monthlies, shall we? So for 2024, we are going to have four monthly options available. Gosh, that was a lot of fours. Um, but first of all, we have our monthly month on two pages in our classic design. We have a new design called the month on two pages with notes. We have our updated refreshed month on one page. And we also have a new design, which is the vertical monthly, which has two months on one page. Um, so due to popular request, our monthlies are going to be available in both a Monday and Sunday start for the first time for 2024. This is going to be a test run to see how much interest there is for Sunday star inserts. Uh, so during the course of the year, I'll be monitoring the sales to see whether it's viable to continue doing Sunday starts, Sunday dated starts as a permanent thing. Um, but in this walkthrough, I'm only going to be showing the Monday starts because it's the more popular option of the two and also to try to keep the video as brief as possible. So as I mentioned previously, we're going to have two versions of the month on two pages. I'm going to be opening these and showing you what they look like in the planner. Let's move this to the side and get you guys centered. So for 2024, we are going to be having two versions of the month on two pages. Both designs are going to have the same monthly cover page. So this one here is our month on two pages classic design, which is our OG monthly design. If you've purchased monthlies from us in the past, you will definitely recognize this format. These are our, I would say, classic monthlies that we've had since I started designing data inserts 
back in 2020 <laughs> so this is going to be 2020 2021 22 23 24 our fifth year having these inserts and you guys have been loving it so i think it's going to be staying for a very long time so this design maximizes the amount of grid space you have for each day compared to the next design i'm going to be showing you but the key feature or focal point is the month um side title there over the years i've changed the month sorry i've changed the font of the month but i've kept everything else relatively similar in terms of the uh design of the months so each month ends with a lined page for notes um which you can use for reflecting pre-planning for the next month or so forth um as you can see as well the months are completely separable so you're free to use monthly dividers and or weekly inserts in between if you so choose i'll also be showing you how it all fits together a bit later just in case you're curious or you're not too familiar with our inserts um so next up we have the month on two pages with notes as I mentioned earlier, these are also going to be available in both a Monday and Sunday start option. Um, this is a newer design that we're going to be bringing out for 2024. And um, I guess it has a, I guess you could say softer design, if that makes sense, compared to our classic design, um, especially with the smaller months and the lined um the lined notes section if that makes sense so comparing the two designs our month on two pages with notes as the name suggests has room to write notes as well on the side and the bottom here because the month header takes a bit of space at the top you do compromise some of the grid space compared to our classic design so with our classic design we don't have um text going um, along the header bar which it compresses condenses the amount of uh, grid spacing if that makes sense um, so you do have smaller grid spacing in the month on two pages with notes design so that's definitely something to keep in mind when choosing your monthlies especially if you're going to go with smaller inserts like the pocket size um, the monthly with notes version follows a similar format to our classic design in that it's also separable and as i mentioned the cover pages are the same for both designs so next up we have our month on one page insert this has had somewhat of a complete redesign and will also be available in both monday and sunday star options due to popular requests i've also made the month separable for 2024 and I think I might do this going forward just for flexibility, um, similar to our month on two page designs. So you can either keep all of the months together or you can interleave, interweave, interleave, interweave um, weekly inserts in between um, or dividers as well, monthly dividers too. So this design is great for those who want a more compact monthly as it doesn't have the cover page and back page unlike the previous two designs I showed. So I think this insert is great for goal setting, finance tracking, um, more so than the previous two designs. We have plenty of space for writing notes um, and each section has also been broken up into different parts so it's a bit more um, broken up visually. If you have an LVPM agenda or a um, pocket agenda, you might enjoy this insert as it's a lot more compact than the other two inserts. So it will be a lot more suited to the small rings in the small LV agenda. Um, having said that though, I have had requests in the past to remove uh, the cover page and also the lined page so that the uh, month on two pages is more compact and if that's something you're interested in please reach out to my email and i will be more than happy to see what i can do for you 
Last but not least, in our monthly range, we have the vertical monthly layout. This is a completely new design to our dated collection, and for obvious reasons, this isn't going to have a Monday or Sunday start option. But as you can see, this design has two months to a page, so the months are not separable for this particular layout, but that also makes it super compact. I think a lot of people like to use this layout for tracking anniversaries and special events, but I personally like to use this insert for tracking stats and milestones. Another idea that you could use it for is to track work days or hours, sick days, holidays, etc. So yeah, those are our four monthly options. Now let's move on to the weekly layout. So here are our weekly layouts. One of our designs from last year hasn't made the cut, unfortunately, for 2024, but we have also made some new additions to the lineup. So we have six designs available for 2024. I've decided to only offer these in a Monday start purely due to how much time it would take to do Sunday starts in all of the nine planner sizes and six uh, designs we have. I find that dating weekly inserts is a lot more time consuming and complicated than monthly inserts because I have to keep in mind when half of the month ends in one month and the other half ends in another month. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a second but long story short, Early Monday starts will be available in the weekly options for 2024. I also know that a few of you guys are going to want to use your planners um, straight away or your planner refills straight away. So I am going to be offering September 2023 starts for the A5 and personal sizes. Um, these are the two most popular sizes. So that just makes sense. I didn't want to design all six times nine. 54 I didn't want to design all 54 weekly inserts in both Monday and Sunday starts because um, of time constraints and I'm not wasn't sure if that would be popular so with that being said let's move on to the different designs so first up we have our weekly with border lines layout so this is going to be a new not a new, a refreshed version of our 2023 layout. As you can see, we have a new monthly admin page for all of our weekly layouts. For 2024, I wanted something a bit more clean and more minimalistic. I also wanted to add some room to write down notes. So these are going to be the same across all of the different weekly designs that I'm going to be showing you going forward. So let's move on to the weekly pages. But before I go into more detail, I just wanted to mention how satisfying the 2024 collection was to design. This is probably not like super exciting for anyone who doesn't date planners, but I noticed for the Monday starts at least, January 1st lies on a Monday for 2024 and because it's also a leap year, Preby's going to have an extra day um, which pushes July to a Monday start as well. If I can find July. So July also starts on a Monday as well. Um, and this is so neat because I have been thinking about potentially offering financial year planners. So for those not from Australia, our financial year goes from July to June. And I believe it might be called the academic year in North America. Um, someone correct me if I'm wrong. And that means if I do, the 1st of July is also going to start on a Monday, which, which makes it a lot easier for me when I date inserts. Um, so anyway, moving on from my nerdy tangent, as you can see, our weekly designs are now in our refreshed fonts. This layout is essentially the same as the 2023 design. However, there might be some minor changes such as line spacing or line widths um, just to keep it more consistent across planner inserts of um, each size. So I've also moved the dates to also be left centered 
as opposed to centered so that you now have extra room for stickers or to write notes um, on the side there at the top. This layout's really good for those who like to make lists as you have more line, lines as opposed to a horizontal layout. So as we follow on through to the end of the month, you'll see that we also have a lined page to end the month and then it flows on to the next month. Um, so here is the full month there. So going back a page and back to what I was explaining before, or forward a page actually. Um, so because I wanted to keep the months separable or allow the months to be separable, you sometimes have leading or ending days of the month that just happen to end up on a different month. So for the first week of February, for example, it's got a little bit of um, January as well. Um, so yeah, so it's, it just means that it's a lot more thinking and des design work and um, trying to figure out which leading or ending month needs to go with what month to make it make sense. Um, but anyway, I won't bore you with the intricacies of designing and data inserts. So let's move on to the next design, which is going to be a new one for 2024. So the next design we have is our um, weekly with border blank layout. So um, as you can see, the dashboard is the same. Um, as we flow onto the weekly spread, you can see that this is essentially the sister, or let's say fraternal twin, to the weekly with border lined layout. Um, everything is exactly the same, it's completely identical, except the lines are removed. So I wanted to offer this option because it's great for those who like a little bit more creative freedom and don't want to be constrained by lines. I have used this layout and enjoyed it in the past for memory keeping because it works so well with stickers as it's a complete blank canvas. Um, so yeah, that's our uh, weekly with border blank layout. Let's move on to our third option. So this one is our weekly with grid layout, which is heavily inspired by the Hobonichi weeks layout. I have made a couple of adjustments um, for the 2024 version. Firstly, we have updated fonts, as you can see. Um, I've also made the dates larger on the left side. And the grid also has larger grid spacing. Um, it's been bumped up from 3.5 millimeters to 4 millimeters. So the grid on the 2024 version will also be slightly darker than the 2023 version um, as I had a couple of uh, feedback about the 2023 version being a bit too light. I've seen a lot of people get really creative with this insert and have created sections by ruling columns down the left here. Um, and splitting each, each section into something like to do, to buy, to um, appointments, for example. Um, the right side being completely grid makes it also very, very flexible. Um, so you have the opportunity to create your own spread depending on your planner needs. So our fourth weekly option is our weekly with tracker layout. This design was a part of our 2023 collection and is essentially the same as the 2023 version with a few minor changes which mainly involve a font refresh and some spacing changes. We have the weekly calendar on the left side here and on the right side we have our weekly admin with two columns for lists which are unlabeled so you're able to customize it to your needs. One example could be to have one column as your to-do list and another as your to buy or maybe things to follow up on. Um, you could also split the two columns as your personal to-dos and your work to-dos. 
Um, just below that we have a tracker for either forming daily habits or keeping track of things and lastly a note section. So I have had a lot of requests for customization for the headers um, and the tracking information um, which would help save time rewriting the same things week on week on week. So this is definitely something that I want to do and I'm going to be offering custom orders for this insert sometime but this is going to be offered at a later day and won't be available on launch day um, so I'm thinking somewhere around October once I finalize the logistics on how to open up uh, custom inserts without compromising on our shipping times um, because it's a little bit more complicated than doing customized dashboards and undated inserts um, so if that's something you're interested in, uh, please keep an eye out for when that becomes available. Next up, we have the weekly horizontal lined layout. Um, this one's a new design for 2024. The reason why I wanted to add this to the lineup for 2024 is because I have mainly focused on vertical layouts in the past, but for this year, I wanted to add more horizontal layouts. Um, this layout is pretty classic, I would say, and I have had a few fair requests for horizontal layouts over the past year. Um, I don't think I'll be going into more detail about these inserts because I think it's pretty self-explanatory um, and I feel like a lot of people are familiar with this layout. So let's move on to the next and final weekly design. So this one is our weekly vertical hourly design, which is great for those who like to time block and or have a lot of appointments or meetings to attend to throughout the day. This one in particular, compared to the other ones, is a bit more, is a bit more geared to the work week due to having the shared weekend. Um, the weekends are not timed as well. I've also included a space for some tasks at the bottom and also some notes. Um, this is probably the insert I'm going to be using for 2024. I actually don't have, I don't use time blocking or I don't use, um, I don't have a lot of appointments during the day. So usually when I use these inserts, I just ignore the um, times and just write my tasks for the day and because I am a big lister I enjoy having the extra lines for writing all my to-dos and tasks for the day um, so yeah that sums up all of our weeklies for 2024 let's see how we can mix and match the inserts to fit your planner okay so I mentioned before that our monthlies are separable, right? So, so are our weeklies. So, um, you could have, um, so depending on how you like to organize your dated inserts, you could potentially have your monthly inserts all together. So, you could have your like yearly overview, your monthly. Uh, agenda inserts and then your weekly agenda inserts if that's how you like to um, organize your planner or if you prefer to have all of your um, inserts for a particular month together you can also do that with these inserts so um, if we go ahead and grab the monthly layouts here doesn't really matter which monthly insert you pick and we head over to the weekly inserts you could fit them in to the front of the weekly inserts and have it go um, the January monthly cover page the January monthly spread some lined page um, some lined notes page and then the monthly admin which follows through to the month of January and then do the same thing for February with the February monthly pages. So 
with the way the inserts are designed it's super flexible in that way um, so you're not limited to just keeping all of the monthly inserts together and all of the weekly inserts together you have that option and last but not least um, you can also use monthly dividers in between to uh, divvy up your month so these are our uh, premium gloss plastic monthly dividers with white text they're super thin and flexible so they won't bulk up your planner all right so now let's go on to the miscellaneous items so let's start off with our quarterly overview first as you can see um, the insert is not separable um, by, uh, by months because you have three months to a page but these are separable into half yearly so you could essentially keep half a year in your planner at a time. I love using these inserts for goal setting and figuring out what releases or projects I want to focus on for each month. Um, but these are also great for tracking dates as well and our transparent teeny tiny dots are also great to highlight the individual dates. So next up I'm going to be walking you through the three dashboards that we have on offer. The first one is a year at a glance. This one is going to be available in two finishes. One is a paper version which is good for marking on um, writing on etc and the other one is our signature milk vellum um, which I have here in the FC size I'm currently waiting on my um, local printers to get back to me to let me know that the other sizes are ready for pick up so you guys I am so in love with milk vellum if you're new to our products our milk vellum is a milky white uh, translucent paper and I actually fell in love with it the first time I saw it it's a little bit thicker than our regular vellum which is this one and the really cool thing about our milk vellum is it's water splash resistant and also tears resistant so I actually put this under running water just to test it and it was actually um, didn't run at all which is so cool. I also love how silky smooth it is and it's a very luxurious dashboard to have in your planner for sure. Okay so moving on to the other two options for dashboards. So we also have another two options for dashboards. These are going to be in our regular vellum. So we have here our this is my year 2024 dashboard um, and also our 2024 dashboard so both of these as i mentioned are going to be available in our regular vellum which most of you would be familiar with last but not least in our 2024 collection are our 2024 monthly planner cards these are a standard australian business card size and have been printed on smooth matte cardstock they come in a set of 12 which is one for each month and they're a great way for you to view the month at a glance, decorate your planner or even pin out onto your corkboard. Um, and I've also got a couple of questions but the back of these are going to be blank. Also I filmed somewhat of a behind the scenes of me making the packaging and assembling these planner cards on Instagram which you might be interested in checking out I'll link it below if you are for this year we have decided to go with a glassine bag for our packaging instead of the paper envelopes that we used to do so here's the um, packaging that we would have used for our 2023 cards and as you can see it's a little bit larger than the actual card size um, because I had a little bit of trouble finding a card, an envelope that was the exact same size as the planner cards. Um, but I wanted to go for a more eco-friendly option um, as opposed to the plastic bags or the, the cello bags that we use. Um, but this is 
water resistant to an extent and also 100% recyclable and biodegradable so I love the way that it looks you can use the cards clipped into your front pocket or if you have the business card um, planner insert you can also style it that way so yeah there we have it that's the entire 2024 collection um, that's going to be released on Friday the 18th of August at 10 a.m. Australian Central Standard Time all of these are going to be available in both a printed and printable format including the monthly cards so we will be having this as a printable option as well if you're unsure about the time zone differences we have a countdown on our Instagram stories so you can be notified um, when the release time is um, just to clarify as well this is going to be ready to ship we have been working endlessly for the couple of months um, to build up our stock and make sure that everything is ready to ship on launch day so that you can get your planet inserts as soon as possible especially if you're getting the 16 month weekly options in the a5 or personal size so in terms of launch day freebies that i mentioned earlier we are going to be celebrating launch day with a free monogram sticky note for all orders over 65 dollars before shipping um, so the cutoff time is going to be 24 hours after we hit launch just to give you guys some time if you're internationally um, due to the time zone differences so the launch day freebie will end at 10 a.m on the 19th of august um, which is a saturday and last but not least um, for us customers in particular i am so excited to announce that we are now offering free standard shipping for all orders over 120 US dollars now so uh, just for your reference on average US orders are taking around 8 to 10 days from when we ship out our orders to when they get delivered to you in the states at the moment and on top of that I am also currently working behind the scenes to figure out how we can also improve on not only our production times but also our shipping times um, to the US in particular. So stay tuned for that. I think I have covered everything I needed to in today's walkthrough video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments um, or join our Facebook VIP group where I post updates and things like launches, behind the scenes, etc. Also, I would love to know down in the comments below which layout you're planning to use. Are you going to be going with a completely new layout or are you going to be sticking with what you used? So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I can't wait for you to join me on launch day. Bye.